सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई विल टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट 3D बबल टेक्स्ट एनिमेशन इन ब्लेंडर गाइस इट्स रियली सिंपल एंड बेस्ट ट्यूटोरियल फॉर बिगिनर्स सो नाउ गाइस आई टीच यू हाउ आई क्रिएट दिस टाइप ऑफ ब्यूटीफुल एनिमेशन ओके सो गाइस फर्स्टली क्लिक ऑन हियर एंड डिलीट योर ऑल एसेट्स सो नाउ गाइस आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अ टेक्स्ट टूल टेक्स्ट गाइस गो टू ऑन हियर एंड स्क्रीन चेक yeah and yeah see guys that's my screen setup and now guys press tab and guys take your any text like a bubble yeah right it's really simple okay so now guys here and guys go to on here data object text tool and guys see that's my alignment alignment you center yes and guys see that's my font font i like aerial black simple yeah that's my aerial black like a bold and thick font okay so now guys i increase extrude so go to on geometry extrude like a 0.15 enter like this yes and increase size guys see that's my transform and size i like 2 yeah and guys tap 0.2 is good see guys that's my simple text right okay so now guys select and press 1 go to a up like this yes okay so guys select and guys go to on here object and convert to mesh check yes right okay so guys now i create remesh so go to on here wireframe wireframe check guys i create remesh so go to on here and remesh check and guys see that's my shaft and octane depth i like 8 yes and guys see that's my remove disconnected check yes see guys that's my simple text and now guys i apply collision and guys cloth tag so guys i like plain and increase plain size like a 10 yes and guys select this plain and i apply collision effect of this one select this plane and apply collision and guys select this this one so i apply cloth tag this one yes right okay so now guys go to on here vertex mass i like 3 enter and guys stiffness is stiffness all like a 20 and 20 20 and guys blend i like 30 enter yes and guys go to down go to on catch it guys see that's my catch it i like end frame like a 50 and guys go to on collision see guys that's my self collision check and guys all is good distance 0.015 yeah right it's really simple and now guys go to on here bake bake all check guys i create baking is take little bit time okay so guys my baking is finished now go to back and play see guys that smack cloth effect so one more time go to back and play yes see guys that's really simple right okay so now guys all is good and guys go to on here so guys remesh apply and cloth tag apply yes see guys that's my first part and now guys i apply one more cloth effect so guys select this text and apply one more time cloth so go to on here and cloth tag check and guys go to on zero frame yes guys increase quality i like 7 is good 7 and guys go to on stiffness this stiffness this time i like 7 and 7 and 7 and, and guys blending like a 0.07 yes and dumping i like 3 3 and 3 and 3 and blend i like 1 yes and guys go to on pressure pressure check guys see that's my pressure pressure i like 40 yes i like 40 and guys see that's a big big all check yes so guys go to on self collision check guys distance same like a 0.0015 yes that's it guys right okay so now guys all is good so guys go to on up 
guys see that's my shop guys i create vertex group so guys go to on sheet and pin group guys see that's my empty group so guys i create group so select this text and guys go to on here edit mode yes see guys that's my vertex and select all so press a letter select all and guys see that's my vertex group check yeah that's my group and assign check that's it guys so again go to on cloth and guys see that's my shape and pin group i like group yes and see guys that's my string factor i like minus 0.15 enter yes that's it guys it's really simple and guys go to on object mode and next one guys i like empty object so guys go to on add and see guys you can take anyone so guys i like spare so go to on here like this yes and guys alignment like this yes see guys that's my spare okay so now guys this time select this text and go to on here and this time i apply vertex weight this one and check yes so guys vertex group i like group and target object use empty this one yes and see guys that's approximately mode use geometry yeah and now guys i create animation so lower is good to check and highest 0.1 enter so check and guys go to on like a 200 frames and lower i like 10 and highest 10 yes so guys go to check and check yeah see guys that's my vertex so guys play actually now select your keyframe and press t and use liner check yeah that's it guys okay so guys i show you my vertex weight so guys go to on here weight pin check and guys play guys take a little bit time because i'm not great baking yes see guys that's my vertex weight right it's really simple that's my vertex base okay so guys all is good and now guys i create bubble effect so use catchy cloth catchy so guys i stop on here stop see guys that's my vertex weight so object mode and now guys go to back and guys go to on cloth and yeah and bake all check okay so guys my baking is finished now go to back and play okay see guys that's not working so stop and guys delete big check and now guys go to on here modifier so guys all is good and guys see that's my cloth cloth down like this and guys again go to on here cloth yes all is good bake all check okay so guys my baking is finished now go to back and this time play yes see guys that's my really cool simulation bubble effect yes it's really cool so guys now stop and one more time play yes it's really good see guys that's my really cool bubbles okay so now guys select play and guys now i apply subdivision surface so guys right click on this text and shade smoother yes and guys go to on here and i apply subdivision surface like this for more smoothness and guys see that's my render i like three and viewport level two is good okay so guys again one more time go to back and play now guys is take heavy effect yes it's really good okay so guys next one i apply material guys use material and geo node so guys stop and go to back like this so guys select this text and now guys go to on geo geometry node and guys i create new yeah so guys go to on add guys this time i apply capture select and capture attribute so connect on here so guys group input connect with volume 
and this attribute connect with gmetry output like this yes right it's really simple and now guys i apply shader so go to on here shading yes so closer and guys create new yes so guys select this material port create spacing and guys use mix shader mix shader so connect and now guys i apply color ramp select this color ramp and connect with this one shader like this select and connect with shader yes okay so guys this time i use attribute select yes and guys connect with here so connect like this yes okay so now guys i change color base color so guys you can take any one so little bit down like this yeah it's good so guys go to on here metallic metallic i like one and specular one yes and roughness guys i like 0.2 yes right see guys that's my really cool effect okay so now guys this time go to on here attribute and name i like weight so w e i g s t enter yes okay so now guys go to on here here and see guys that's my geometry node and volume guys click on here and volume use group like this and output see guys that's my volume so use group and next one guys go to on output attribute and type weight w e i g s t enter yes see guys that's my true shader and see guys that's my color so guys you can apply any color like this yes see guys that's my different style of colors so select and guys little bit change like this yes much better see guys that's my different style of shader and now guys select background and create new so guys roughness increase like a one and guys base color i like dark blue dark blue like this saturation yes is good yeah much better see guys that's a simple background and now guys go to on layout and i take camera so guys go to on add and camera check guys set your camera angle select your camera and rotation 0 all 0 and guys location change like this little bit up yeah the 0.5 select and guys select camera like y axis 0.5 is good yeah and guys x1 i like 11 yeah and guys now go to back and say guys click on here and play yes see guys that's my really cool bubble dynamic effect and guys i apply simple sdr light so stop and click guys i use sdr environment texture so guys select i like this one and increase strength like a 1.5 is good enter so guys increase yeah guys all is good my render setting and device gpu check guys max am 256 yes so guys i show you my one frame render so render image check yes see guys that's my final render it's looking really good okay so guys that's it my final effect is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel